Hello everyone. Today I will show you how to install HFW 4.87.1 with HEN, including Webman and Multiman. First of all, you need to download some files that are needed for this. I will provide the official download links in the description. When you downloaded everything, extract the HFW update file and rename it as you see on my screen. Make sure the name is exactly the same. Now make a folder named PS3. In that folder make a new folder named update. In the update folder move the PS3 update.pup file as you see on my screen. After this is done, move the PS3 folder including the firmware update in the root of your FAT32 USB stick as I show you and put it in the far right USB slot of your PS3. Make sure it is the far right slot. Then turn on your PS3. Before we continue I want to point out that I formatted my system so the hard drive is cleaned and there are no files that might mess something up. If you want to format your system before updating, do it now with the USB removed from the PS3 and reconnect it after the formatting is done. Back to the update, there are two ways of updating your PS3. The first way is by going to the PS3 menu, in the settings column, the first option which is system update. Choose System Update, then choose Update via Storage Media and it should detect the USB with the update inside. The second method is by going in the Recovery menu. This is the method I am going to use and I will show you now how to access it. To enter safe mode, press and hold the power button to turn the PS3 system on and keep your finger on the button. You should hear one beep when you first press the button, and another beep about 5 seconds later and a third beep after you've held the power button for approximately 10 seconds. The PS3 system will power down after the third beep. This is normal and is a required step in accessing the safe mode menu. Release the power button after the third beep and then press it again, holding your finger down on the button. Just like before, you'll hear one beep when the PS3 starts up, a second beep about five seconds later, but after that you will hear two beeps in close succession. At this point, you should see an on-screen message that prompts you to connect a wireless controller to your PS3 system with a USB cable and then press the PS button. Follow these instructions to enter the safe mode menu. Into your PS3 system. Enter safe mode and select option 6, system update. When prompted, you must press the start and select buttons at the same time to begin the update process. It will take a minute or so for the PS3 system to prepare the update data. A minute or so later, you will be prompted to read through the user agreement and accept it before you can begin the update process. If you agree with these terms, press the right directional button to advance to the next screen. There you can select Accept and press the X button. When you see the screen that warns you not to turn off power during the system update, then you can press the X button to begin updating your system. If the update process completes successfully, then you will be returned to the XMB menu afterward. If your PS3 system is not able to complete the system update, then it's recommended that you try Safe Mode Option 3, Restore File System. If that doesn't allow your system to restart normally, then it's recommended that you try Option 5, Restore PS3 System. So now you know how some of the options in Safe Mode may be used to restore functionality to a PS3 system that cannot start up normally. Before continuing I want to say that I installed the firmware twice, just to make sure every single file is correctly installed and any older file is replaced. This is not needed but I prefer to do it. With that being said, after the firmware is successfully installed, go to the network column and open your internet browser. Press triangle, go to tools, go to confirm browser close and disable it as you see on the picture here. Please make sure you do not forget this. If you want you can set as your homepage the HEN install website which is linked in the description but also shown on screen just for easier access. If you want to change your homepage press triangle, go to tools and then select homepage. After that, close and reopen the web browser. Once you are on the website, press on PS3 HEN and select the first or the second method. I chose to do the second one. The first method installs everything automatically while the second method is a little bit more complicated. If the installation fails, do not worry. If anything fails, restart your PS3, then open the browser, press triangle, 
go to tools, delete cookies, delete search history and delete cache, close the browser, then reopen it and begin the installation again. Have patience and be careful not to press something wrong. After HEN is installed, reboot your console, go to Game Column and enable HEN. You now have HEN on the latest available firmware. I will continue with showing you how to install Homebrew, specifically Webmin and Multimin but it is not a requirement for HEN. In the beginning of the tutorial, you downloaded these files, so the only thing you need to do now, is put the PKG files in the root of your FAT32 USB stick. After that, Plug your USB stick in your PS3, in the far right slot, make sure it is the far right one. Firstly install both PKG files. Then go to Webman icon, press X and when the screen goes black hold L1 to install the full version. The console will reboot and Webman will be installed. Now open Multiman and it will install itself too, so just wait for it. I'm also going to show how to set up Webman if you want to mod or use RTM tools and stuff. Follow what I do and everything will work fine. If the settings are already like that, then just quit Webman. You now have everything that is needed for Hen. Have fun and thank you for watching.